Hi, I'm Keith Eason, and for the end of 2020, we're going to make this dumpster fire pit. Well, what can I say about 2020 that hasn't already been said by a butt? To a toilet. Let me just start off by saying this is the second welding project I've ever done. I've owned this welder for just a couple of months now, and I've used it two or three times. Let me also say that welding is a heck of a lot of fun, and if you have the capability to add welding to your repertoire of tools and uh, skills, I highly recommend it. So what is a dumpster but a really big box? And what is a fire pit but a really small box? So uh, let's weld up a box. As you can see, I'm not doing anything fancy here because at the end of the day, this is a dumpster. And if it's got dings or it's off square or whatever, it's just going to look like more of a dumpster. So my welds aren't fantastic, but they don't have to be fantastic. They just have to hold up. All this project is on the inside is two identical rectangles with spacers in between. And the measurements I really eyeballed, it's about 20 inches tall by about 26 inches long by about 16 inches wide, something like that. And like I said, I'm not the best welder, but I do a good enough job where it sticks. And that took some practice. And one of the few good things about this year, I got to say, is that I had more time to myself because I wasn't going anywhere. So I took that time and I invested it in myself. And I learned a couple of new skills like welding and uh, whistling. I'm not, that, I'm not that great at whistling yet. I also used some of that time to, you know, catch up with some of my favorite activities like uh, not getting out of bed all day and watching The Fifth Element for the 8,000th time. Oh, and the skin of the dumpster, the outside sheet metal, is just this extra workbench top that I had lying around. It's an okay shape. The paint's all rusty. It's, uh, you know, it's a nice eighth inch steel, so I figured why not ruin it for laughs. I don't have a metal break, which is a long tool for bending sheet metal, so I decided to use the frame that I welded up with a couple of clamps. Uh, as a metal brick, basically, and it worked pretty well. I just had to cut some notches and pull some metal out and beat the ever-living heck out of it with a hammer. Oh, this is a good part. This is where I accidentally skipped the diamond wheel off my hand right there. You just saw it. Very light, almost no blood, but definitely one of those sit-down-and-take-stock kind of moments, you know? So a few short moments in one dramatic realization of what my life would be like without the use of one of my hands, I was back at it. The tabletop had that fold over at the edge, uh, that squared off side to make it more rigid, and I used that to cover up the top of the frame on the inside of the dumpster. If for some reason you want to make this yourself and you don't have that, I would suggest just getting a metal break or doing your best to bend it over the stock that you're using as the frame. I don't know if I'm going to make a build guide for this because I feel like it's one of those things. All right, so after being a maker for so many years, I can I can look at something and I can say, oh, I know how that was built. This, that's a piece of tube steel. That's a piece of tube steel. That's sheet steel. It's on a frame. The guy welded it together very badly. That's how it was made. I don't know what others' capabilities are in that way. I guess maybe I'll make a guide for this, even though it seems like something you can look at and see how it was made but someone might just need a guide. So I guess there will be a build guide, and that's why I get to just ramble on and on and on throughout the video. While not the authentic choice for the top and bottom of a dumpster, expanded steel is going to improve airflow and the look of this as a fire pit, which is the thing that it actually is. I've learned over the years of building things that look like other things, there is a tightrope that you have to walk between what it is supposed to look like, in this case a dumpster, and what it's supposed to be, in this case a fire pit. And you really can't tread on too far on either side of that line because then it fails at being either. That's another reason that I decided not to do something like strip the paint off of this thing and then use heat resistant paint around it because if a real dumpster caught on fire, they're not coated in heat resistant paint. I don't know if you knew that, but they're coated in regular paint, and it's going to do what regular paint does when you light a fire on the inside of it. 
So I welded some small steel rod around the outside of the expanded steel lid so I wouldn't cut myself. This is a steel hinge that's made to look like brass. Remove a little bit of the paint and make a big welding no-no, which is melting through the sheet steel because I forgot to change the settings back on the welder. At least that hinge has a right to look that angry, but it works. And you can tell that it works by the way that I'm showing you how it works. See? And for the final touch, it's just not a dumpster without some crudely rendered graffiti sprayed on the side. It's probably a good time to mention that I've got a podcast and an Instagram and everything linked down in the description, which you should maybe check out if you like stuff. So, the inaugural fire is lit, and it's time to kick back and just think about how we ended up here. By the way, I'm letting you guys in on a big secret here. Uh, this carbonated whiskey trick that I that I just figured out a few years ago, it is, for those of you who are old enough and well enough to imbibe alcohol, and choose to. It is a very tasty option that works very well. And that's the video. Uh, as an extra special treat, and I'll link it down in the description or you can find it on my channel, I have made a four hour and 25 minute loop of a bigger fire in the dumpster fire pit that you guys can stream as a replacement for your Yule log for the year 2020. Until next time, if there is a next time, this is Keith Deason saying, later makers.